Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos. Uh, it's not a Chelsea video if there isn't some disclaimer of some sort at the start of the video. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give you one of those right now. Uh, I'm a little bit sick. So if I sound revolting, I personally think I do, but 90% of the time when I think I sound revolting, nobody else can hear it. So um, yeah, you might not hear a difference at all. Uh, I think I sound revolting. If you can slightly hear it, I apologize. I'm just not well, but that's okay. It's not, but you know, what can you do? This is just life. It's winter for me. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to be sick, I guess. And I have a niece and nephew. I'm literally sick because uh, both of them, they were full of a cold L last week. Maybe the, the, no, it was definitely last week. It couldn't have been the week before. Otherwise I would have been sick far sooner. Maybe. I don't know, actually, whatever. They were sick last week. I had both of them coughing directly in my face, especially Carter, because, you know, he's just, he's one. He doesn't really understand the concept of putting your hand over your mouth and not spreading your germs, blah, 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 whatever. Point is, I had small children cough in my face while they were sick, and now I'm sick, so that's really neat. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, remember this at your 21st. I'm going to make your 21st so embarrassing because of this here moment. Mm-hmm. I don't want to think about them being 21 actually. All right, moving on. Let's talk about the apartment that we're doing today. Because yeah, I actually haven't said a goddamn thing about it yet, have I? Wowie. We're doing a family apartment today. Actually, no, 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 no. I was initially going to call this family apartment, but then I remembered as I was editing the thumbnail and everything, like I've already exported this house. It's exported as family apartment and everything. Um, but I'm going to fix that because as I was editing the thumbnail of this apartment, I remembered, hang on. I didn't build this apartment with a family in mind. I built this apartment with a single parent in mind. So yeah, this is called single parent apartment now. And I won't lie to you, I feel a little bit cringe uh, naming it that. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to naming my builds after like the colors or something or just having like really weird names. Um, I don't know if it's that, I don't know. I just feel a bit, I feel a bit odd just calling this single parent apartment uh, i don't uh, i don't know is that a bit strange probably not at all i'm definitely overthinking that whatever uh yeah another apartment that i did on stream which you didn't need me to tell you it's just everyone knows that i i do all of this on stream these days i'm a real simmer you don't need me to tell you that either because i've said that in every single bloody commentary uh for the past month i think yeah this video is going up pretty late in june i'm pretty sure uh no, this one might be before the 20th. I don't know. It doesn't, uh, it'll be up when it's up, you know. I had a lot of fun doing this one, though. Uh, yep, I'll definitely be... I don't know, man. It's really nice just, like, going between doing actual house builds and doing apartment builds. I don't know why. It just is. I just really, really enjoy myself. I'm just really bloody. I was going to go on the little tangent of how I just really bloody enjoy Sims, but you don't need me to do that, so I'm going to stop myself right here. Yeah. I didn't have too much of a plan when I went into this. The only thing I knew that I wanted to do with this apartment is I wanted to, yeah, just cater it for a single parent. So, yeah, the theme, there isn't one. There's just wood and different colors in every room. Oh, I was in the mood for exposed brick. Sorry, again, when I do apartments, I'm usually in the mood for exposed brick because I feel like I can just really get my exposed brick out in apartments more so than I can houses for some reason. I don't know, I've got some interesting thought processes, I suppose. Um, also, I should probably just uh, apologize in advance in case you hear any background noise. It's been really fucking loud today. I don't know. I was streaming earlier and my neighbor was weed eating and mowing his lawns and doing absolutely everything under the sun that required like a very loud tool. Uh, he was doing that all while... <coughs> oh my God, my throat really hurts. Jesus Christ. He was doing all of that all while I was streaming, so that was really neat. And when he finally wrapped it up, which uh, took a while, let me tell you, I would have had his lawns mowed literally in maybe, um, uh, I don't know, a really tiny fraction of the amount of time it took him to do it, but whatever, not my business. Do your thing, man. Preferably not while I'm streaming, but like, do your thing. Uh, anyway, once he wrapped up, finally, at long last, uh, my dad decided to do something pretty similar. So yeah, it's just been real fucking noisy here today. And um, I think I've picked a moment where things have settled down a little bit. I've kind of just been sat here waiting for a quiet moment, which is terrible news actually, because that means I've done absolutely nothing since I ended stream, because yeah, if I'm like doing something, like sitting and waiting for it to get quiet so I can record, I am absolutely not doing anything in the meantime. I'm quite literally just sitting here, just existing, thinking about life and shit. Yeah, 
I've had a pretty waste of an afternoon. Oh my god, it's 4 p.m. Wow. That's the day gone. <laughs> I gotta shower soon. It's, it's hair wash day. For goodness gracious me. I'm a real schedule person. Um, I literally get up and leave my PC and go shower. It doesn't matter what I'm in the middle of. I will get up and go have my daily shower at 5 p.m. The second 5 p.m. rolls around, I'm out of here. I'm in the shower. I'm, I don't know. I'm real strange like that. It's just a, a Chelsea-ism, I suppose. It's actually probably a part of another ism, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, I really like the term Chelsea-isms, by the way. Uh, I've, I've kind of really been throwing that at everyone recently. I was talking to a friend the other day, and he said a very commonly used phrase. Oh, it was goodness gracious me. Um, like, the way he said it was very me. Uh, I don't know, whatever. He Oh my goodness gracious me, like he said it exactly like that. And um, my immediate response was, ah, that's a Chelseaism. That right there, my friend, that is a Chelseaism. Uh, it's not like I coined that term or anything like that. I did not make that up whatsoever. It's actually not really a Chelseaism at all, but I'm certainly going to claim that it is. Well, actually, no, technically it is because like, I don't know if y'all know what isms are. I can't really be bothered explaining them, to be honest with you. But um, basically, uh, Chelseaism is a Chelsea, a Chelsea thing. That's a Chelsea thing. That's a Chelseaism. Whatever. Um, who cares? I don't know where I was going with this uh, ramble. I'll be completely honest with you. I have absolutely already uh, run out of things to talk about, so that sucks. I just don't have a whole lot to say today. I'm real sick. No, I'm not. I'm actually not that sick. Uh, I am sick. I've felt pretty miserable. Um, it's at night. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm about to head into the evening. This is when it gets bad. <gasps> this is when it gets real bad. I get like congested and yuck. I get disgusting at night when I'm sick. Uh, but no, what I was going to say is it hasn't even peaked yet. You know how you can like kind of tell when you're just, you know, getting into the cold and then you can tell when you're like starting to get over the cold and then there's that peak. Yeah, it hasn't peaked yet. So not sure when that's going to happen, but yeah, probably tomorrow. You know why? Because tomorrow, uh, uh, part of my schedule, tomorrow's Thursday, I go to see my uh, sister every Thursday. I go to her house for dinner. And who lives there? That's right, my niece and nephew. Oh, actually, that's great news. I'm going to cough in their faces. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. That's fucked up. And it wouldn't even make a difference because uh, they're the ones that got me sick. So they've clearly already had this one and they won't get it again. I think that's how colds work. I don't know. That's what my parents told me. So if I'm wrong there, uh, don't blame me. Blame them. They lied to me. Uh, I was going to say something, and I feel like it was actually somewhat interesting. So the fact that it's like completely left my brain is really, really annoying. Oh, no, it was, wasn't interesting. It was just funny. I was going to mention, um, it ties back to the joke I made about coughing in my niece and nephew's face. I did this really messed up thing when I was a child, right? So, sorry, I got a bubble in my throat. I had to swallow that up. I turned my head. I went quiet for a second. My bad. Um, so whenever I was sick, I was probably like 11 at this age, 11, 12, 10, 17, just kidding. That last one's a joke. That wasn't very funny though. It was probably a bit uh, predictable. Anyways, when I was sick and my sister wasn't sick, I'd get pretty irrationally angry about it because like it was, it was just very petty. It was irrational. It was petty. It was ridiculous. Um, but basically the whole thing was, why should I be sick and suffering? and you're not. Why is that fair? So do you know what little baby Chelsea used to do? And by Chelsea, I mean like child Chelsea, like, I don't know, sim kid aged Chelsea. This bitch used to cough on her sister's toothbrush. Whenever she was sick, she just fucking coughed all over it. Just when she, whenever she was in the bathroom, just picked up her sister's toothbrush, just <coughs> all over it, breathed all over it, did absolutely everything she possibly could. Okay, that's not true. I, did, I never spat on it. I drew the line there. I never spat on it. I wanted to, but I never did. I didn't spit on it, but I did cough on it. I breathed all over it. I just all of that. And I went real hard when I was doing it. I was coughing hard. I was breathing hard, doing it for a solid three minutes. Like the amount of time it takes you to brush your teeth. That's how long <laughs> I was doing all of this on my sister's toothbrush. Um, Cause I wanted her to get sick. Yeah. Like, I'd, well, that, sorry, but it's just not fair that I get to suffer and you don't. So I'm going to try and get you sick too. And do you know the most wild thing about this? I don't think it ever worked. <laughs> I was talking about this on stream today. I, I spent so much time doing that as a child, pretty much every time I got sick. Because, yeah, we were often 
there were a lot of times where I was sick and my sister wasn't sick. I don't know. I think I've got a weaker immune system than her or something. Actually, I know I do because I'm the one with all the bloody diseases. I've got one disease. Okay, I need to relax uh, with that. I've got celiacs and she doesn't. That's just one disease, Chelsea. You need to calm down. Um, yeah, whatever. I think I've got a weaker immune system than my sister always have. Uh, so it was quite often that I was sick and she wasn't. So I did this many, many times. Every single time. This, okay? Every single time. I was sick, she wasn't. You can guarantee, or I can guarantee, I was in that bathroom doing all that stuff to her toothbrush. Never worked. I don't think it ever, ever worked. I don't recall a time where it worked. And I feel like that would be something that would stick out in my brain if I'd like actually got her sick when I wanted to, because it would have been an achievement <laughs> for a little fucked up old child Chelsea. What a petty bitch. Goodness gracious me. I would never do that now. I absolutely adore my sister. Uh, I feel like I've spoken about this in my videos before. I don't know if I've spoken about this in my videos, actually, but I've definitely raved about my sister on stream uh, and other forms of social media. I did a big ass post for her 30th birthday on my Instagram that actually made me cry as I was typing it. And uh, she messaged me after reading it and told me that she was also crying. And that was a pretty big deal because um, she doesn't cry easy. Like, uh, no, she doesn't cry easy in general. I was going to say she cries over sad things uh, like a normal person. Like, doesn't, you know, just like a normal person. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, but no, I don't even think, I don't even think I see her cry over sad stuff often. Oh. What a resilient young woman. Wow. I love her. God, sorry, I, I got real distracted. I was thinking about my sister. Um, yeah, she doesn't cry easy and I made her cry on her birthday with my wholesome, sappy birthday message. Uh, thank God, to be honest, because ugh. Uh, uh, let's just circle back to child Chelsea. If I have to suffer and cry, so do you. <laughs> Just kidding. There was no thank God or anything when I found out she was crying. I actually think finding out that she was crying over it made me cry again. Wow. I'm an emotional person sometimes. Mm. Not even sometimes. I'm always an emotional person. I've always been an emotional person. God, if you followed me in like 2022, if you followed me on Twitter, especially in 2022, wow, you're very aware that I've uh, always been a very emotional person because wowee, I shared absolutely everything on the internet in 2022 actually so embarrassing to think about like I really just offloaded everything on the internet I had absolutely no respect for my own privacy uh, oh wow that's actually so dangerous by the way like please don't be like 2022 Chelsea please don't share absolutely everything going on in the internet uh going on in your life on the internet do you know why because you make yourself a really really easy target for very very nasty people I uh, trust me Okay, just trust me. Just trust me. I won't elaborate further. Just trust me. Um, yeah, you become very easy to manipulate when you, um, you know, share absolutely everything on the internet. Found that out the hard way. I've been manipulated a number of times now by a number of different people. And wowee, it's not very fun. I <laughs> uh, can't say that's a life experience that I've uh, particularly enjoyed, but I think I'm better now. Um, I, I've, uh, well, when I eat gluten, I go a bit. I go a bit buck wild on the Twitter, but it's usually on my private Twitter that um, only certain people follow uh, and that I'm not letting any of you follow before you ask. No one's going to ask because I don't think any of you care, but I don't let anybody follow that account anymore. I've learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson. So if you follow that account, well done. Lucky you. No one else is getting in. So that's special. And also, if you follow that account, I'm really sorry because wowie, when I have gluten, <laughs> shit. I had a, a friend who follows that uh, account. I actually watches my video sometimes. This is a shout out to you, Des. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, fuck, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, they said, um, oh, I was talking about how I, I had just like, it was my first stream back after like having a few days off because I had mentally fell to the floor. Uh, and I was saying, yeah, I actually had some gluten. And Des goes, yeah. I was reading your tweets. I kind of thought that might have been the case. And I think that's so fucking funny. Like, that's just hilarious to me. Like, you see me just mentally plummet. You see me just catapult back to, like, old Chelsea on my private Twitter. And you're like, oh, yeah. Mm, this bitch is eating gluten for sure. Like, that's what's done this. And it's 100% correct. Like, th that's just right. That's just factual. Because I had had gluten. And this does happen every time I eat gluten. I can't talk about that. It absolutely blows my brain. The fact that I, like get the way that I do and that I react so intensely now to gluten just blows my goddamn mind I can't think about it I've rambled about this in so many commentaries 
Okay, um, I've really just rambled my way through this entire video, haven't I? This is the last room of the house. Apartment, sorry. Yep, this is a nursery. Um, I don't know why. I was really in the mood for orange for this nursery, so I hope you like orange. If you don't, that sucks. It's my sister's favourite colour, just if anyone was uh, wondering. Yep. I thought it was pink. It actually was pink. My sister's favourite colour was pink for a very long time. And then I think uh, last year or the year before, I found out that her favourite colour is actually orange because she was talking about how she wants orange Crocs. And I was like, why do you want orange Crocs? You've got pink Crocs. You've got like, oh, well, how good can it get? And she's like, oh, orange is my favourite colour. I was like, excuse me? I don't even know you. Like, what the hell? The Hayley I know is a pink enthusiast, just like young Chelsea. Not anymore. Apparently she grew up. I guess pink's just for babies. Sorry, that's just not true. I don't know why. I, I'm just feeling a bit ridiculous right now. I really want to go shower. I might actually can the whole 5 p.m. thing. It's 4.15 p.m. I might go have my shower after I'm done with this. What? I really struggled with that sentence. Holy shit. Anyways, um, we're about to... The outro music's about to start. Here it is. I rock. Okay. Uh, we're about to jump into some screenshots. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wrap my commentary up right here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up with uh, up for me. Sorry. Uh, the download link for this apartment will be in the description if you want to put this into your own game along with a custom content list with everything that I used. Uh, no unfurnished version. I didn't build the shell. This was done in Evansdale County. Probably should have said that sooner. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you a lot. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Should I get up? Should I get